For more on the crisis in Iran, we are joined once again by Yervan Abrahamian. He is Distinguished Professor of History at the City University of New York. He was born in Iran, and he's written several books about the country. Thank you for coming back. Thank you. What's the significance of the sermon that will be delivered by Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei tomorrow? Not very significant. He often addresses the nation, and it's usually expected that he would. If he doesn't uh, address the nation for a long period of time, there are all the sort of wild rumors that he's ill. Uh, so in this, I think, sermon, he will give a homily about everyone being united, respecting law, and putting their faith in the Guardian Council. And then Saturday, uh, there is going to be, I believe, a meeting that takes place between the Guardian Council and the three candidates that were defeated in the election. What's the significance of that? Again, very little, because the Guardian Council will try to persuade the candidates that they will be fair, but the candidates know that, in fact, the 12 people in the Guardian Council are all appointees of the leader. They're very conservative, even more conservative than the leader, so I don't think they're going to put their faith in the Guardian Council. Well, then, do these events indicate on the part of the government we're reaching some sort of a critical moment, a critical mass here that something has to break? It's becoming, in fact, I would say polarized, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's going to be resolved either way in the near future. If you look back in the Islamic Revolution of 77, 79, in fact, it was months of weekly, daily demonstrations, protests before anything was resolved. So we could be entering a similar type of scenario where we could have an ongoing crisis for months on end, uh, which uh, the ending really unpredictable. Where does the, the military, the paramilitary and the police, where do they fit into this equation? Because if there isn't a political solution, I presume finding a solution falls on them. Yeah, it is usually presumed that the armed forces are solidly behind the uh, Ahmadinejad. And that I would not basically put my money on. There are divisions in the military. Uh, many of the uh, revolutionary guards uh, have many qualms about what's going on. And we have to remember, in fact, one of the losing candidates was the uh, commander of the Revolutionary Guards. So uh, it could be very well that there are people in the Revolutionary Guards do not want to smash heads for the sake of Ahmadinejad. Do you think it could possibly come to that? Uh, it could, if, if it goes on long enough, it, there could be cracks in the Revolutionary Guards, yes. Mm -hmm. Yervan Ibrahimian, as always, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.